Section 4.5 Logarithmic Properties In this section, you will use the product, quotient, and power rules for logarithms, expand logarithmic expressions, and also condense logarithmic expressions, and then use change of base formula for logarithms. Let's recall our logarithmic function and y is equal to log base b of x and we can rewrite this in exponential form yes that is b raised to y is equal to x some basic identities we have basic identities about logs before we begin log base b of 1 is equal to what is that so think about uh, log base b of 1 is equal to y. If we change this, we write this to exponential, it's going to be b raised to y is equal to 1. What is, the exp uh, what is that value of y? b to the power of what number is equal to 1? Yes, 0. Because b raised to 0, any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. So take note of this. Log base b of 1 is equal to 0. How about log base b of b? So think about, again, uh, log base b of b is equal to y. And then we do rewrite this in exponential. So that's going to be like b raised to y is equal to b. What is that power? b to the power of what number is equal to b? Yes, 1. Because b raised to 1 is equal to b. Okay, so another example. So let's say log base 3 of 3 and yes that is going to be equal to 1 because when you we write this in exponential form 3 raised to 1 is equal to 3 so take note of this log base of base p of p is equal to 1 and the inverse identities log base b of b to the power of x is equal to x and b to the power of log base b of x is also equal to x next we have some uh, product and quotient rules here log base b of m times n is going to be equal to log base b of m plus log base b of n okay so remember just like uh in algebra when we solve x to the m power times x to the n power what we do here we add the exponents so it's similar. Same thing here for quotient rule log base b of m over n. So just to recall, let's say x raised to m over x raised to m. So we know that we subtract the exponents x raised to m minus m. So same thing here, it's going to be log base b of m minus log base b of n. Okay, so let's have some examples here. Example 1, expand log base 3 of 30x times 3x plus 4. So this is multiplication. So we can expand this as log base 3 of 30x plus, that's multiplication, so addition 
log base 3 of 3x plus 4 and we can still expand this 30 that is this is 30 times x so you can still expand log base 3 of 30 plus log base 3 of x plus log base b of 3x plus 4. So this is your answer. Letter b, expand log base 8 of 8k. So that is 8 times k. So log base of 8, 8 plus log base 8 of k and we know that log base 8 of 8 is equal to 1 plus log base 8 of k so this is your answer for letter b okay letter a next one expand log base 2 of 15x times x minus 1 over 3x plus 4 times 2 minus x so as you can see here uh, this is division so we can say that this is like log base 2 of 15x times x minus 1 minus because that's division log base 2 of 3x plus 4 times 2 minus x and then this is multiplication so 15 times x times x minus 1 so that is log base 2 of 15 plus its multiplication log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of x minus 1 minus log base 2 of 3x plus 4 and minus log base 2 of 2 minus x so this is the answer letter b ln of e over x minus 1 so again using quotient rule so this is ln of e minus ln of x minus 1 ln of e is equal to 1 so this is 1 minus ln of x minus 1 so that is your answer next is the power rule log base b of m to the power of n is equal to you have a power of n here you can rewrite that in front of log so that makes it n times log base b of m so take note of this so I'll give you an example to use this uh, power rule. So let's say, for example, a uh, log base b base uh, three of five to the fourth power. So this is the same thing as log base three of five times five times five times five right and since it's multiplication when we use the product rule this is going to be log 
base 3 of 5 plus log base 3 of 5 plus log base 3 of 5 plus log base 3 of 5 and as you can see that we, if you combine all of this you have 1 2 3 4 that's 4 log base 3 of 5 so instead of doing this we have this power rule if you have the, the exponent 4 you write it in front so that's going to be 4 log base 3 of 5 which is the same as this so that's why this is your power rule okay just like an example here letter a expand log base of x to the fifth the power is 5 so that's going to be 5 log base 2 of x and then letter b expand ln x squared so the power is 2 it's the same thing so 2 ln of x okay often when we are solving problems that deal with logs we will use any of or all of the previous log laws to help us either expand or condense the expressions let's start with getting practice with expanding logs so letter a we write ln of x to the fourth y over 7 as a sum or difference of logs so let's use the quotient rule first ln of x to the fourth y minus ln of 7 then you can use product rule here ln of x to the fourth plus ln of y minus ln of 7 then here you have a power of 4 we can use now the power rule so it's going to be 4 ln of x plus ln of y minus ln of 7 and this is your answer letter b log of x squared y cube over z to the fourth let's do the same thing let's use power, uh, quotient rule log of x squared y cube minus log of z to the fourth this is multiplication so we use the product rule so log of x squared plus log of y cube minus log of z to the fourth and then power rule you have the exponents so that's going to be 2 log of x plus 3 log of y minus yes 4 log of z so this is the answer okay next letter a can we expand log of square root of x so let's recall that square root of x it's the same thing as x raised to one half so yes we can expand log of x raised to one half so meaning you have a power of one half so that is equal to one half log of x x can we expand ln of cube root of x squared so cube root of x squared is the same thing as x raised to two-thirds so meaning that is ln of x to the power of two-thirds so using the power rule this is equal to two-thirds ln of x Next, quick check one. Can we expand ln of x squared plus y squared? No. 
Okay. Next is condensing logarithmic expressions. We often want to combine or condense logs as well. So let's get some practice. So example number six, write log base three of five plus base three of eight minus base three of two as a single logarithm. And as you can see, they have, have all the same base of three and we can combine them and we, we can write them as a single log. So addition, so meaning this is product and here this is quotient so what do we do here log base 3 of 5 times 8 over 2 yes so that is equal to 5 times 8 is log base 3 of 40 over 2 and 40 over 2 is 20 so the answer log base 3 of 20 All right, example number seven. We write three log x plus four log x plus five minus log two x plus three as a single logarithm. So take note of this, that you should always undo exponents first. So in front of logs, you have a 3. So that's going to be the exponent of x. 4 is the exponent of x plus 5. So we can rewrite that as log of x cubed plus log of x plus 5 to the power of 4 minus log of 2x plus 3. And this is equal to addition. So this is product. So log of x cubed times x plus 5 to the fourth power and minus. So that is quotient rule so divide divide 2x plus 3 so that is the answer next one so far we've only learned how to evaluate the common log and the natural log but of course we will need to evaluate log functions with any positive number as its base to do that we will use the change of base formula so you can rewrite a logarithm at any base using the change of base formula like log base b of m is log <coughs> base 10 of m over log base 10 of b so this is your change of base formula so from here, log base b of m is going to be log m over log of b. So if we don't see a base, meaning the base is 10. So same thing here with ln. So ln of m over ln of b. So example number 8, evaluate the following using the change of base formula and the calculator. So here log base 5 of 3 is using the change of base formula is equal to log m so that is the 3 over log of the base which is 5 log base 3 
log 3 over log 5. Remember, the base is always at the bottom. And by using the, the uh, calculator, it's going to be equal to 0.6826. Next letter B, log base 2 of 10. So this is log 10 over log of the base, which is 2. And this is equal to 3.3219. So use the calculator, just type log 10 divided by log of 2. Okay, all right, let's have some lecture questions. For the following exercises, contents each expression to a single logarithm. 20 log 2x to the fourth plus log 3x to the fifth. So as you can see, this is addition so to condense this we have log of 2x to the fourth times 3x to the fifth so you could rewrite this as log of 2 times 3 is 6 x to the ninth Twenty-two. Let's do the same thing. Remember, first check if you have a number in front of log, just like this. You have number two, so that's going to be a power. So that is log of x squared. Same thing here, plus log of x plus one cubed. So addition. So that's going to be product log of x squared times x plus 1 cubed. Then 17, expand the logarithm as much as possible. So square root meaning uh, that is the same thing as log of x cubed times y the negative fourth raised to one half. So we can use uh, the power rule. So that is one half of <clears throat> uh, the exponent is three. So we can use also power here log of x. This is multiplication, so it's going to be addition plus negative 4 or negative 4 times positive is going to be negative so minus log of y so this is the answer then 31 use the properties of logarithms to evaluate the following without using a calculator so what do we know here 6 log base 8 of 2. We have a 6 here, so we can use that as a power. So we can rewrite that as log base 8 of 2 to the 6 plus 64. Hmm. We can rewrite that as uh, 8 squared over. Uh, again a number in front of log so that's going to be a power log base 8 of 4 cube so that is equivalent to 2 to the 6th is 64 and again 64 is 8 squared plus log of 8 8 squared 
4 cubed is 4 times 4 16 times 4 is again 64 log base 8 of 64 that is again 8 squared so as you can see here this is actually log base 8 of 8 squared is equal to 2 log you can cancel this out or we know that it's equal to 2 over 2 and 2 over 2 is just 1 so this is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 okay so that's it for 4.5 let me know if you have any questions thank you